Okay, so question three is really a pure trigonometry question. You get given this, this shape here, this triangle, with some, uh, some angle, one angle and two sides, and predictably the first question is to find out this, this angle here, this theta. So the way that we do that is to show you the sine rule, what I call the sine rule, I think it's called the sine rule, where we have sine of capital A over lowercase a, little a, is equal to, let's have a different colour, sine b over b, which is then equal to sine c over little c. So let me just uh, explain. You have obviously have the big letters here, which are these ones here. So uh, so a would be 150. And, uh, and C, big C, would be theta in this case. And then the little uh, letter there is the side opposite that angle. So 15 here is going to be A. So then the, the opposite angle for C is going to be 6. So you can see that it works, it works that way. And this will work for any triangle that you can conceive. So how do we go about finding our, our theta there? So we have, we have our a, a there, and we have the opposite a there. So we have both of these, so we can use this to find a number. So sine a over a is going to give us some value that we have. Let's look at b. We have b where we don't know what the angle is. We don't know what little b here, so let's label this little b. We don't know either of those, so this is pretty, pretty useless to us. We can cross that out. And then for C, we have the opposite side for C, that's 6, so this lowercase c is going to be 6, and um, our big C is going to be theta, which is what we want to find out. So we can rewrite that then, let's, let's rewrite that as, so sine A, we'll have A here is 150, so sine of 150 over the opposite side, so 15, our little a, is going to be then equal to sine C, so sine of theta in this case, because that's what it is, and then that's going to be over our little our six there, our little c. That's over six. So then you can just get a calculator and you can just make sure you're in degrees with your calculator and just type in sine 150 over 15. That'll give you some value. I, I don't know what it is off the top of my head. And then when you get that value, call that x, whatever then you're going to say that is equal to sine theta sine theta over 6 so then what we do is whatever you got for that sine 150 over 15 whatever you get by that times that by 6 and do the inverse sine of that and that should give you if i'm right that should give you theta as being equal to 11.5 degrees now we we know to write it like that because it's a correct to the nearest 0.1 that's you know that's kind of irrelevant but you could lose a mark over it potentially but it's pretty easy to do that so let's move on to our next one b so this is calculate the area so ignore this this last little bit we'll deal with that when we come to actually writing it but uh, i don't i don't know why they they put this in here i mean give your answer in centimeters squared did they think we were going to put it in kilometers i don't i don't know but calculate the area of the triangle. So we need, we have another formula for that, it's not the sine rule, it's we have an area for a triangle formula, which I'm going to show for you here, which is half of A times B times sine of C, big C. So we have half AB sine C. So again, use the same kind of notation for this, so the opposite side for A is going to be this is going to be A here, and this is going to be little c there. So that's that's the same kind of, uh, of labeling that we use there. So if we want to find out the area of this triangle, let's literally find out this area using what we've got. So let's have that as equal to half times by our little a, which is going to be 15, times by now b. We don't know b. We'll put b in there like that and then times by sine of c. So c we had here as 11.5, let's use that, so sine of 11.5 in brackets. Now, we have a problem here, we don't know what b is, so we can go about this 
two different ways. We can find out what B is. If you go back to our sign rule here, then we can find out what B is. Can we? Maybe we can't. Anyway, I wouldn't do it like that. I would try and label this triangle in another way. So I would draw out this triangle again. Let's draw out a rough, rough sketch of this triangle that we have. And I would say, right, let's call this angle C. Let's have this little side as A, which is giving us this as a big A. And let's have a little B here, which would give us a big B there. And the reason why I would do that is because for this formula to work, we need little a, little b, and big C. And we have, if we go up here, hang on, where are we? So our big C there, we can know what that is because we have the angle for here, the angle for here, so we can just do 180 minus 150 minus 11.5 which is going to give us our angle here, so we know that we also know this side and we also know this side because they're given to us right at the beginning so if we do that, if we relabel this thing then we can use this formula, and I'm sure there's another way to do it but this is the way that I would go about it so let's get our C, so 180 minus 150 minus our 11.5 from here is going to give us C is going to be equal to 18.5 and then let's plug in the rest of the numbers so we have, let's have A as our area no let's not do that actually, that looks a little bit confusing let's have area is going to be equal to half times by our A here which is 15 half times 15 times by B which is 6 6 there times by sine of 18.5 if we do that then what we should get at the end, I normally do the sine first and then go kind of backwards like this because it eradicates some of the error like that but anyway what you should get out of that is 14.3 and then here centimeters squared as opposed to nanometers squared or whatever they thought we were going to do and it's three significant figures as well, that's three significant figures so that is question three finished. I know we went over time a little bit, but I'll see you on the next one.